Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see, I've got a review of the uh, brand new sketching pencils from ArtX. Now, ArtX have been around now for a couple of years. I was very fortunate enough that when they first kind of like hit the market, they reached out to me and uh, I've been reviewing their products ever since. Uh, as with all the products I review, I'm incredibly honest. I, you know, I, I, I don't get paid by any company to do reviews or anything like that. Some companies have offered me money, but I've never taken it. Same with um, affiliations, like, uh, you know, leaving up links and the, the, the more pen, the more products that they sell, the more money I get. I've never ever accepted any of those. And I know it's a really nice thing for the companies to offer it, but the reason why I've never accepted them is because I want my reviews to be honest reviews towards you guys and I think no matter how well intentioned I am I think maybe somewhere along the line I would get subconsciously diverted from all of this in order to get money so um and Ardex have always been really really fine about that they they've not been any problems whatsoever now all of the products that I've reviewed thus far up until this point from Ardex have been really good. And and that shocked me a little bit because and I when I say really good, I'm talking about in the price bracket that they're selling them in and in, for the group of people that they're selling them to. So kind of ranging from young artists to student artists to what I would class like upper tier student lower tier uh, artist quality so um i've always expected a, to find a bad product to find something that i just don't like or it's just not working well or anything like that and i and i haven't done that so far and so with this set i thought this is going to be the one because graphite pencils are really difficult to get right I've reviewed a lot of graphite pencils, a lot of graphite sets, and some of them, even some of the really, you know, bigger names, they can be quite scratchy, quite gritty. And when you're using really expensive paper, you don't want that. You don't want the pencil cutting up your paper because it's got a lot of grit and clay in the core. So I was expecting these to be that way. And they, they aren't. They weren't. I was wrong, and I'm glad to be wrong. So, um, let's take a look at the Artex sketch and pencils. But before we do, I would just like to say, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you if you find this video or the channel helpful in any way, shape, or form, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to, you know, subscribing to the channel for me. It's more about getting notifications every single time I put a video out. So I think that's where the benefit of subscribing to the channel is. No matter what video I put out, you get a notification so you can watch it as soon as you get the notification or put it in your later box and watch it later. But you get a notification. Uh, next is if you find the, the video, this video or any other video that I do helpful in any way, Again, hit that like button. It just gives uh, YouTube the the notification that the, the video is being seen by people and people are enjoying it. And so therefore, they push the video out to more people and they, more people get to see it. And finally, when you're watching a video, please leave a comment down below as well about the product. I think the comment section in my videos on my channel is what makes this channel successful because you have a voice and when I do a, a product review, it's an opinion. You know, I try to be as scientific as I possibly can, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of opinion in it as well. And so I think it's so important for you guys when you're considering buying a product, watch my reviews, but also watch other people's reviews as well. But more importantly, read the comment sections because a lot of the times, People who have got the product might disagree with my review and they'll put it down there and they'll explain why. And I think that's so important. You know, 
money is scarce in this day and age and it's so important that if you're going to spend money on a product that you know as much about it as possible before going out and buying it anyway i've rambled on enough, long enough let's get into this so as you can see first things first Ardex sketch and pencil uh 14 set beautifully bright box here um as with all of Ardex products you can they're always bright and colorful and i think that's just great because in this day and age where there's so much doom and gloom and so much suffering going on around the world it's nice just to have something a little bit bright even if it's just a little bit of packaging or, or an art product something bright and colorful in your life uh i think it's a really good thing uh on the back side of the box it's just a little cardboard box as you can see and there's a little tray here it just slips out and the pencils are in the tray uh on the back here we have a grade uh like a, a scale sorry of the the different grades that are inside the box and we'll get to those in a second we'll talk more about that in a second now the actual characteristics of the pencil really interesting so as you can see the barrels themselves are all different colors um we'll come back to that in a second if we look at the the highest or sorry the lightest grade on the scale which is the 4h the core size for that is 2.4 millimeters. Then if we go to the opposite side of the scale, if we go right up to the 8B, which is the softest, the darkest grade, it's a 3.8 millimeter core. So you can see the difference between the core sizes. And a lot of that is down to the fact that the lighter grades, like the 4H and 3H, that type of thing, those um those cores are really really brittle there's a lot more clay in there than there is graphite and so they're really brittle the opposite side of the scale the it's all graphite the darker you go the more graphite is in it the less clay is in it making it a very soft core and so to have a thicker core makes it that little bit easier and a little bit more manageable when it comes to sharpening whether you're using a sharpener or a, a, a craft knife the barrel on the pencils, as you can see, is all hexagonal. And we're it, it's roughly about 7.5 millimeters uh, width. Now, the pencils come unsharpened. And you can see here, this shot here will give you an indication of the core sizes as well. But ultimately, you can see here that the, the pencils are all hexagonal. Now... On one side of the, the pencil, we have a code and then a little decoration there and the company name. We just flip it over there and then on that side of the barrel, we have that same decorate, decorative uh, design, just a, a little diamond and a line. It goes halfway along the barrel. Uh, and then on the other side of that, again, we have just a barcode and made in China. Now, although the, the barrels themselves are all different colors, there is a black ring separates the, the, the main body of the barrel to the graphite, the end of the, the pencil, which indicates the graphite grade. Now, this is what I really love about these pencils. The graphite grade on a lot of graphite pencils, it's just on one side of the barrel. A lot of graphite pencils tend to be hexagonal, but even if even the round ones, there's just one one uh, indication of the grade. On the Ardex, we have um, the graphite grade on every other side of the, the barrel, so that's really handy. But what I really love about this is, if you look on the very end of the pencil as well, the graphite grade is there also. So if you have these pencils, lay them flat uh whether it's in a drawer or something like like a perspex drawer or you know just on a tray or something you are being faced with the graphite grade which is excellent because as we know no matter how short our pencils get we'll always use like a pencil extender so we'll use them right down to the death um and sometimes the graphite grades on ordinary pencils get sharpened off but with this, you know, that, that grade is going to stay with the pencil 
you're not going to you're not going to sharpen that away in any case because you it wouldn't go into a sharpener at that point. But uh, I just think that's really cool. So as you can see, the the barrels are all different colors, and the ends of the pencils are different colors as well. So when you see them all out like this, and this is the only downside I have or I see in these pencils. And this might just be, you know, I think this is just going to be a personal thing. It will divide people. I think some people will love it. Some people won't. A lot of graphite sets are quite plain. So if you look at the Mitsubishi set, they're like this lovely maroon color, but it's quite dark and dull. Stadler have got the blue barrel with the black ends. Um, Derwent as well. I've just got a black barrel. They're all the same. I think out of all of the graphite sets that I've used, I think the, the, the Karen Dash Graphwood is perhaps one of the best in terms of the barrel colours because the, the barrels change tone as they go from light to dark. Um, but with Artex, obviously, they have this really, really bright and colourful, cheerful out outlook on all of their products and, and they've introduced this onto the pencils. The only problem I have is I think like if... Uh, if you have these in a pencil case, a traditional pencil case, not one of the ones that's flat and it's got the little elastic bands and you slide them into, I'm talking about a traditional pencil case that you just drop everything into. Anybody that gets these and has, just drops them into a pencil case and they may have a few colored pencils in there as well. I think they're just gonna get mixed up. And I think Ardex have gone to the great, you know, um, I've, I've gone to the extent of putting the, the grades on the, you know, every other side of the barrel, which I think is excellent. But again, when I was using these, I, I spent more time. I had the, first of all, I had to line them up in order of grade, but the, as you're going through and you're using, you're just placing them down and lifting them up. That kind of like goes out the window after a little bit. And then when I'm lifting up pencils, I'm really having to look for the grade because the, um, the, to my eyes it's just a little bit haphazard but like I say I think a lot of people will probably find this really beneficial this colour coding really beneficial so that is the only downside that I have to these pencils so I'm kind of like giving you a spoiler alert now like I say this is a set of 14 so we go from uh, 4H which is the lightest they have 4H, 3H, 2H, H, F, HB, which is your center one, B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, and 8B. Now I'm going to show you the um uh, I'm going to show you what these they all look like on some paper here now in a second. But in my opinion, this is a perfect scale grade for graphite pencils i think anything anything further down the scale on the h side so like there was i've reviewed pencils where the h goes as far as 9h i think there's even a set that has a 10 or 12h which by that point you're just really you're you're using you're just really drawing with clay and it's so scratchy it's so difficult to sharpen as well because it's so super brittle um i really don't see the point in anything further down the scale on the h side of things now when it comes to the the dark side the b side i think they've got it right as well here on that again there's a couple of sets where i've seen it go up as far as 14b but in all honesty there's not much of a tonality change from say like 9b to 10 11 12 13 and 14b so there, there's that to, to bear in mind as well but again that's just my opinion uh i think this scale is really good what they've got what where, where they've started and where they've ended so really happy with that okay so i've just done this little bit of a um a swatch if you like just to show you how light and dark they get but also to show you um, the, the movement in the graphite uh, how it moves and how it blends 
what have you. Now, the paper I'm using is uh, Strathmore 300 series Bristol Vellum. So it's not a super smooth paper. It's got a little bit of texture. It's the type of paper I like using whenever I'm used, you know, using graphite for uh, art projects. And incidentally as well, the drawing that I did, which I'll show you in a second, using these pencils from Ardex, these Ardex sketching pencils. Uh, again, I used the, the Strathmore 302's Bristol uh, vellum paper. So we start off here at the lightest. You can see uh, 4H. So you can see here, it's it's kind of like all of them are done in three, three sections. So the top section is just a very, very light layer, basically, just the, the weight of the pencil, maybe a little bit of extra weight, but basically holding the pencil at the very end, like I'm holding this blend and stump, and just applying the layer. So that's the top. Then the middle uh, area has, it's just the opposite. It's a heavy application. And then the bottom layer is the layer that I'm gonna use the blend and stump on. So as you see this now, the bottom, section of these swatches haven't been touched i'm going to do the the blending in real time using this paper stump so we'll start off let me just set these pencils to the side so we'll start off with the 4h I'll have an image coming up at the end, but I'll try and zoom in a little bit here as I'm doing this. I know the light is reflecting off this with, with graphite, you do have this problem. But what I will say is, and I don't know what they've done or how they've done it, the 8B, like from 3B onwards, mainly actually from 4B onwards, you would expect to see a little bit of a light sheen come off these. But as you can see, there's there's a little bit of sheen there but even then it's not much um i think they've done a really good job in that side of things so that's the the uh 4h what i'm what i'm looking for here is movement of the um the graphite just to see how how well it pulls out now each time i go on to a new one i'm just going to clean give the, the blend and stump a little bit of a clean so i'm not just transferring graphite over and it's not really a fur test if you know what i mean so under the the 2h that moves quite well you can see me carrying that on just down a little bit further obviously the darker it get the further it's going to uh, move but it's still a little test that I want to show you it gives you an idea of um, the the quality quality of the graphite I have to say I find graphite pencils really difficult to gauge like with colored pencils I I I think I'd be quite confident in saying if if somebody covered the barrels of coloured pencils and asked me to you know test test a bunch of pencils, different brands and what have you, or do a little bit of artwork, I think I would I'm quite confident in saying now after nearly seven years now of reviewing art supplies that I could tell the difference between uh, an artist grade an artist quality and a student quality uh, colored pencil with graphite pencils I think it's so difficult to to determine whether it's artist grade or you know student grade or for kids or what have you because it's a it's I don't know I just find it difficult it's not like you have like 
anything to go by the, the, the same type of standards that you would do with colored pencils and you know um that type of thing all i can do is tell you that how the experience I have when I'm drawing, when I'm using them, which is the reason why I do artwork now for my reviews, because it's so important to use the product properly in in the way in which it was intended and then give um, a proper opinion of it. Um, and when, it, when I was using these Ardex sketching pencils, I'll show you the artwork in a second, but I was really, really happy with the result of the, the image that I did. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably already know the, the image that I drew, um, which is another thing. It, you know, if you're on social media, the only social media platforms that I really am on is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be honest with you, it's mainly Facebook and Instagram that I use. I mean, like Twitter, I'll just use it just to put out notifications and help, you know, get other people seeing. Um, I do need to use Twitter a little bit better, but they're the three main platforms that I'm on. Uh, and if you like DeviantArt as well, I'm on there, but that's just showcasing my artwork. So you can see here how well the, the graphite just blends and moves so it's it's really really nice again there are certain brands that have re uh, reviewed in the past and you don't get very much movement when you're blending them um like you you can't really ex you can see here me extending this down a little bit and it's giving me that little bit of a gradient some some pencils you you just can't do that with so let me show you what I mean. Let me try and zoom in here on this 6B. So you can see it in real time. Okay, so what I'm talking about is you can see here that you can see the texture of the paper. So it's a light layer of this 6B that I've put down here. Um, let me just clean off this blending stump from the the previous one so all i want to do is smooth that out and like i said in some with some graphites it's not it doesn't always just work like this some of them it's really really difficult you don't get that like fluffy like cloud like appearance when it's been blended out. But you can see here with this 6B, and now we're going on to the 7B. Let me just again clean it. I just, the only reason I'm cleaning it is because, you know, if I just, if I allow the graphite to build up, then as I move on to each different grade, it's just, it's not going to show a fair representation of the pre of the the next grade because it, the the blending stump itself will have a build up of graphite that it's laying down as well. It, you know, if you use blending stumps a lot, you can actually end up using them if you allow the build up of graphite to uh, occur on it. You can actually use them as like drawing implements, um, and they give you some really really nice soft uh marks so this is the last one this is the 8b this is the softest grade in the uh scale and i'm putting kind of like a a medium to heavy pressure down here which when you're doing a an art piece or something like that using graphite you wouldn't perhaps use uh, a medium to heavy pressure when you're first doing it you would do it a little bit lighter but like what i'm what i'm saying is with the, the blending stumps when it builds has a build up of graphite so i'm just using a blank piece of paper here you can see there that i'm able to apply a light layer of graphite just from the graphite that is built up on the other pieces 
Okay, so you can see there that the, the bottom parts have blended out really, really nicely, even on the 4H and 3H and 2H, which, you know, ordinarily you don't get a lot of movement from those those type of grades because there's not a lot of graphite in them. It's, you know, it's mainly clay or something like that that, that is the, the, the dominant ingredient. Uh, it's only when you start getting down to these darker ones is it's it's all graphite. So that's what the, the scale looks like. <clears throat> I think it's a really good variation. You don't need anything lighter than a 4 8 in my opinion, especially when you're using a light hand. And same with this 8, 8 b Anything darker than 8B, then you know, use start using charcoal or willow or carbon or any of those other uh materials. Okay, so this is the um, the drawing that I I completed using the Artex graphite pencils. I was I'm really happy with it. Now I got the image of uh, Pinterest. I was just looking for something to draw, something black and white. Seen this rope. Um, I spent nearly a day trying to track down the actual because it was a photograph, and I spent nearly a day trying to track down the actual original photographer or person who took the photograph, and I just couldn't find uh, the name of the person because it gets when images get shared so much on social media, um, if they don't credit the the artist or the photographer, it, it just gets lost. And I reached out to so many people who said, no, I just put it up because I shared it. I liked it. it uh, I don't know who the original photographer is. Um, but I'm going to keep trying. And when I hopefully find out who the original photographer was, um, I'll certainly put that person's name in the review because it's so important to, to uh, credit artists and photographers and anybody else that creates something but anyway this is a drawing i'm not selling or anything like that so i'm not making any profit off somebody else's work it was just for demonstration purposes and this is what i drew uh the reason i like this was because it gives you a lot of different tonality and stuff that got, allows me to demonstrate the the light and dark of the pencils which i think i've done reasonably well in this drawing um but I'm I'm really really happy with the final outcome of this. So and again, the actual experience of using the pencils was just seamless. There was no issues, no scratchiness, no grittiness or anything like that in any of the grades, even right down to the four eighths and three eighths. So that was um really pleasant experience using these pencils. So Okay, guys, so that's my review of the Artex sketching pencils. It's Like I say, it's a new product as I put this video out. If you want to know about pricing and things like that, go across to my written review where I have uh, a, like links to where you can buy these pencils on Amazon and the different prices, uh, that type of thing. So that's all over on the written review. As I've said many times before, if just in case you're new to the channel, the reason I don't mention prices on videos is because... Prices change, it goes up or down or whatever, and I can't change it once I say it on a video. But over on my written review, I change the prices often because they change on Amazon or wherever I've linked them to. Um, and so I can keep the written review up to date in that sense. So uh, the written review does have other things that I can't really say here on the video because sometimes they change and that's just the best way for me to do it. Um, I also have a speed drawing up of this if you want to go across and watch that as well. I have a link for that down below. And that is, and I also have, so when I do some artwork, I'll take photographs of that artwork from start to finish. So periodically throughout the drawing, I'll just take photographs of it. I put them up over on the art gear guide, which I'll have a link for down below. You can go across and take a look at it. Sometimes, I know some people don't like watching those speed drawings. Um, so that's why I put the still images up. You can go across, click on the image. It enlarges it and gives you the ability to zoom in. So you can take a closer look at the pencil strokes and the way the pencil looks on the uh, Bristol vellum paper, that type of thing. So... Um, I break my reviews down into four sections. This video review, a written review, 
the speed drawn video and then obviously the images the still images over on the art gear guide as well all four sections components whatever you want to call them off that review combined offer something different and hopefully all four of those give you a really good rounded uh, outlook or of what this product is like if you are looking to buy the product so and but always as well the comment section if you've got any questions if there's anything i've left out please by all means ask in the comment section down below and i will do my best to answer the question if i can't answer it immediately i will contact my uh, friends at Artex and uh, ask them and they will always be able to help me out uh, answer any of your questions so thank you so much for watching this video guys uh, i really look forward to seeing your comments down below i look forward to talking to you and uh, don't forget i'll be putting these i always link these over on facebook and instagram as well and if you're more comfortable comment on all, on those platforms again by all means do so i i reply as often and as frequently it's the same thing i, I reply as often as i can guys thank you all so much uh, i really appreciate your support and uh all your lovely comments that you've put down in my posts um I can't tell you how much I appreciate it all. Thanks, guys. Bye.